people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished. much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. You don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but uh, you can't get back in there. You can. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. reassuring and unsettling to rediscover this site after being in storage for so long. My connection to the network grows stronger, however slightly. I hope you will continue to search for more of these.
Altera beacon signature detected. Unique identifier, Delta Station Dock. Delta Station. This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time.
You're trespassing. If you know what's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. Careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You wanna follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. In the future, I hope you will avoid contact with the woman in the exosuit. I am among the last of a dying civilization. If you were to compromise your well-being, the species could go extinct. What makes you think she's hostile anyway? A little grumpy, maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? She did not respond to my distress call. And she is well armed. 
Maybe she's afraid of us. I have no desire to find out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. A map will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder? Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle? You three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city, only... Sea monsters aren't pretend, and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache, kid. By the way, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Harvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Harvin would ever clean it. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Good morning, Crosspack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything. But HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work. And I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. David, 
you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. Tower maintenance. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I've never seen someone who did that dive to the old ship. I'll go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status. In progress.
I have determined the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Signal location uploaded to PDA.
your blueprint synthesized. Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. New technology acquired.
Seek fluid intake. Vital signs stabilizing. New blueprint synthesized. Artifact could provide useful information. Processing. I can visualize the location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. 
We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. Acquired.
with this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. G acquired. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. Pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah, tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity.
signal location uploaded to PDA. Are the humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... I'm warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient. Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Stern of an astronautical Sol Transco vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative.
Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida's the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. 